I entered uh, the competition on the website. I have to say, I don't normally uh, enter competitions. We won this trip um, through Canadian, uh, the magazine. And then the centre was the competition to Mar for Marrakesh. My wife I don't think you filled it in. Well, you made, yeah. I think you put it on the kitchen table yeah, and said, anyway. let's fill in that, yeah. yeah. And I thought, well, I'll try it. And I forgot about it, and then I come at the blue. And after Christmas it came, and you looked at it and you thought, yeah. this is a joke, yeah. and it yeah. wasn't. Oh, no, no. <laughs> well, first of all, you know, when you receive a thing, you can't believe it's happening, obviously. Got the letter through, didn't believe it. You know, oh, it's a bit of advertising. Shall I open it? And I very nearly didn't open it. I don't think it did go in the bin, but we didn't believe it. And then all the details came through. When I read it, I thought, oh my God, we've won. <laughs> <laughs> but then you, you see it, uh, that it's definitely happening, and. Uh, uh, well, I was expecting, I don't know. I don't know what we really expected. No. By the way, I'm a substitute. My son was coming, but being in tourism, he's too busy, so I'm a substitute. Scott won it and he's not here. <laughs> he won it at Twickenham at the rugby. I went to a Six Nations game at Twickenham and entered the competition on one of the stands. Um, about a year later, got the thing through the post. And here we are. <laughs> and I wasn't even with him when he won, so I've done really well. <laughs> I saw an advert for one of the Land Rover cars, I think it was Discovery, uh, on the red button on Sky. Pressed it, ordered a brochure, and got a free entry into the competition. And luckily enough, it was uh, a winner. I found Jill and fell there, and we were just thrilled, absolutely thrilled. Fantastic. Yeah, when I read the itinerary and where we were going and what we were doing, we really look forward to it. Each year we'll advertise a star prize. Uh, this year it was the Moroccan Adventure and that's we end up here. So during the year we had I think 43,000 people apply and 20 very, very lucky people spend four days with us in Morocco uh, driving our cars on and off road and having uh, step up treatment at Land Rover's expense. It's great uh, seeing the countryside as well. It's a great way of seeing it, motoring. With the drive we've had, we've had such a variety of desert and greenery. And there are the people on top of the vans. Yeah, people like, sleeping on top of vans, vans and driving on the other side of the road. People driving on yeah, the wrong side of the road. Yeah, people driving on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> people driving on the wrong side of the road takes a bit of getting used to. <laughs> Especially when you've got vehicles coming at you the wrong way down. On the dual carriageway. Dual carriageway, that's different, but you just keep your eyes open. Very different. <laughs> it's, it's chaotic, there's cars and motorbikes everywhere. <laughs> Just the little carts and the rituals and the, everything like that. You take away all the, the taxis and the cars and the bikes and you think that you're back in yeah. biblical times. I should imagine yeah. that's exactly what it was like. Yeah, yeah. Well, we've often said between us, it's like going back to biblical yeah. times. Yes, yes. Um, it really is. But this is another world, you know. You get to see, you know, another side of life almost. Such a mix of kind of the culture um, when you see when you see the people. The children are always very happy, smiling, and they always wave to you, and we wave back. Yeah. I think they always seem very friendly. It's been fantastic, and the driving we've done has just been amazing. And of course, the cars have been amazing. Um, but it's just been brilliant, it's been great. There's always something to look at, but what I can't get around is if you're going to do a road, why do a bit there and a bit there, but not in the middle? Tarmac yesterday was very half-hearted. They just slapped a little bit at the middle just for the sake of it. <laughs> we live on an island and the roads aren't the best there, but uh, I have to say the rough roads here are considerably worse. It doesn't feel that wrong road really very much because we're mostly we're off the side of the road and going in and out of donkeys and camels and all sorts. So it's a bit surreal, but it's uh, really good fun. Very interesting and very exciting. Great. Yeah. Amazing. We well, didn't expect the convoy. You know, it's so well yeah, organised. Yeah, yeah. We weren't sure exactly whether or not we would be driving the vehicles as we have been driving them. It's been phenomenal. It's, it's exceeded our expectations. I, I did think, I thought that maybe we'd be passengers with experienced yeah. drivers, you know, maybe in one or two cars. What we've, we've got to do has been amazing. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, that, was, that was all pretty impressive looking. You just kind of follow it, you don't have to worry about anything, so you then see all the stuff and you wouldn't see otherwise. Yeah, I was really looking forward to um, getting out in the country like we are now and starting to do some off-road and seeing what the Land Rover is really capable of. I can't believe the day we've had. Would you ever imagine, you know, and constantly looking at the convoy of cars and the scenes, it's just amazing. Hotel's awesome. Nice. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah.
No, it's, it's brilliant. Thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it, really. Yeah. Very it pretty, helps. nothing what you expect. There's little yeah. oasis yeah. in the middle of it. That's really nice. Amazing. It felt like royalty on the first day when we turned up at the first hotel. And I have to say, the Gazbar Agafé that we stayed at last night was just um, superb. superb. I mean, it really was. I could have been in a different world. <laughs> Excellent. It's Very nice clean. to have it rustic and more original yeah, things, original. especially last night in the castle. It was, uh, it was lovely. quite special. special. It's a great home for ourselves. And the pampered, really, it's, it's, it's fantastic. Great to be beside the pool. And the place is just beautiful. Time. It's like a palace, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Nice some uh, spa treatments this morning as well. Yes. Had a facial this morning. <laughs> really lovely, really lovely. The welcoming we got at this hotel was really nice. After such a brilliant day, that just topped it. It was really nice to come back to. Here in Morocco, uh, we're, we're staying in some fantastic locations, but they're very much uh, true Moroccan locations. They're not just five-star hotels that you could get anywhere else. Uh, and we think that's a really important part of the, of the programme and one of the reasons why people love to come on this adventure. Doing the sand driving that we did today over the dunes, uh, overlooking the ocean. I mean, most people would never get the chance to do that. And it's really blown them away. They've been hugely excited. There's a real buzz now that we've got back to the hotel. And I think they're going to have many, many stories to tell for, for, for many weeks. Granted, the dunes are absolutely <laughs> excellent. I think the sand dunes yesterday was probably the, the best. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. This afternoon on the sand dunes, we had the Range Rover. We yeah. were first up. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't say that I got stuck. I think it was just a, a decision maker where I was stationed. <laughs> Dad always gets his stuck. <laughs> always. <laughs> we managed to get stuck on the first first tube, but that was the only time we got stuck. But yeah, we had stuck to begin with. And but it's great fun. We <laughs> <Yeah, it's just laughs> were really proud that we didn't get stuck. No, we don't. We're dead no, proud no. of that. <laughs> with a seventy-eight thousand pound vehicle, throwing it throwing it at sand dunes, it's a uh, a little bit daunting to begin with. Remember to keep my eyes open. <laughs> yeah. Got, well, are you shutting them? No. <laughs> it's really scary, but it was amazing. Yeah. yeah. No, it wasn't scary. It was just <laughs> brilliant. <laughs> we didn't have to get pulled out, so that was. Yeah, a we bit didn't get stuck. We got. Doing. We just stopped making progress. Yeah. Things. What was it that we didn't? Uh, we didn't have momentum. Yeah, we lost momentum. Yeah, we lost momentum. That's what we did. Three things about sand driving you've learned. Momentum, momentum, momentum. Perfect. But it's good fun once you've got the hang of it and the fact that you realise that you do have to really give it some beans really to get it to go. We fought for the wheel, I won, went first and it was just great. I wasn't going to drive at all and it was so thrilling. I felt like a little girl as well, <laughs> driving through the dunes and I didn't get stuck. <laughs> That's great. You have to take trust in the vehicle. You, you, they say it can do it, it can do it, you know, so you just have to put your foot down and pray that you follow one behind, really, <laughs> and you don't get stuck. We're already well underway with planning for next year. Uh, we're going to have a Catalonian adventure next year, so we're going to go to uh, northern Spain. Some fantastic off-road driving there, also some very good hotels. Uh, so we're hoping that next year will be as successful as this programme's been. I wasn't expecting to have that much fun to enjoy that much with driving and uh, to be at scale at some point as well. So I think that was good, yeah. The organisation, the, the Land Rover team have just done a fantastic job. It is, we haven't wanted for anything. Everything's prepared, everything's just working like clockwork. The whole organisation of the, oh, of the, of the trip has oh. been fantastic. I think what comes to mind for me is just that the old saying, it's a, an experience of a lifetime. Yeah. That's an absolutely fantastic experience. Absolutely fantastic. Chance of one, one in a lifetime experience, brilliant. Once in a lifetime. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's an old saying, but it was a, a lifetime experience, one that we just wouldn't ever expect to have. And with the scenes that we've we've seen and what we've, we've done today, and the convoy of cars and the, the different situations, just amazing. Fantastic, yeah. I think, yeah. Yeah, just yeah. an amazing adventure. Yeah. Really worthwhile. I don't think you could improve upon it. No, absolutely. And the Moroccan, lovely people, good food, and it's very interesting. Absolutely over the moon. Awesome. <laughs> no, it's, just, it's been absolutely fantastic, yeah. Everything about it, the whole experience has been fantastic. Yeah, it's been so well looked after. It's unbelievable. Don't want to go home. <laughs> Unforgettable. Very good. Very, very good experience. I wouldn't have missed it. The world.